important to me to involve as many of the people who made Jurassic Park great behind the scenes in this movie as possible. And Jack Horner he is our resident paleontologist. It's pretty cool being one of the very few people that's been on all four of the Jurassic Park films. He brings the credibility that we need to the story and really makes sure that it's scientifically correct. We have a number of dinosaurs in Jurassic World. We have the long neck Apatosaurus. We have the Dimorphodons and the Pteranodons, which are flying reptiles. And for the first time, we have the gigantic Mosasaurus. But the most interesting dinosaur in this movie never existed. They asked me to help them come up with a new dinosaur, a scary one, one that we could genetically engineer. She was designed to be bigger than the T-Rex. Jack told us that if this thing has been genetically manipulated, kind of all bets are off as far as what it can do. And we ended up with this thing that it looks pretty awesome and vicious and fierce, but is obviously a horrible mistake. We have an asset out of containment. Evolution is selecting characteristics according to how it survives. It didn't eat them. It's killing for sport. And we can override that. That thing is a killing machine. And it will not stop. To me, there's an aesthetic and also a spirit that guys like Jack infused in this movie. That was awesome. For me, Jurassic World is fulfillment of this thing that we've dreamed about having since 1993. We finally have a real dinosaur park. Hey, Valerie here. So you think you know movies? Well, did you know in Spider-Man 2 the number displayed for Joe's Pizza is real? Try it! 212-366-1182. Let me know how it goes. Next up, did you know that until X-Men required it, neither Patrick Stewart nor Ian McKillen had ever played chess? <laughs> Download our Film is Now app available for both Android and iOS.